Hello children, we have come to the end of chapter 5 motions of the earth and today in this part we are going to discuss the exercises. We are going to revise the lesson and discuss all the important points and then we are going to discuss the exercises. We begin with a quick recall of the lesson. In this lesson we learnt about the two motions of the earth that is rotation and revolution. The daily spinning movement of the earth from west to east on its own axis is termed as rotation. The earth rotates at a speed of 1600 km per hour at the equator, 1200 km per hour at 45 degree north and 45 degree south and the speed further decreases at the poles. 21st March is termed as the spring or vernal equinox. On this day we have the all over the world we have equal day and night. Equinox means equal night. Similarly on 23rd September termed as autumn equinox the northern hemisphere experiences autumn while the southern hemisphere experiences spring. So these two days 21st March and 23rd September are the two equinoxes and on these two days the sun's rays fall directly on the equator at midday and because of this on this day all over the world we have days and nights of equal duration. The day and night are of equal length. So it is called equinox and we also learnt about two important dates that is 21st June or summer solstice and 22nd December or winter solstice. We learnt about revolution which is the movement of the earth around the sun. We will examine these two drawings now and these are the drawings which you will do in your copy too. The first drawing is of rotation and the second one is of revolution. Let us differentiate between rotation and revolution. Differentiate means we are going to compare both these motions. What are the similarities, how they are same and how they are different. We will discuss this orally, listen carefully and make a table in your rough notebook after listening to the various points that we discussed today. So let us begin. The first point that we are doing going to deal with is rotation is the spinning movement of the earth and what is revolution? Revolution is the movement of the earth around the sun. So first point is both are motions but rotation is spinning motion and revolution is movement of the earth around the sun. Now we come to the second point the direction in which they rotate and revolve. Here both of them are same earth rotates in the direction from west to east and similarly it also moves around the sun the sun in anti-clockwise direction that is from west to east. So both the, mo both the motions take place from west to east. Now we come to third point that is earth rotates on its own axis. How does it rotate? It rotates on its axis and what is axis? Axis is the imaginary line around which earth rotates and revolution takes place along the fixed orbit which is elliptical in shape. Then we come to fourth point that is the time taken. How much time both of them take? Rotation takes 24 hours that is the earth completes one rotation in 24 hours while it completes one revolution in 365 days that is one year. And the last point is effects. 
rotation causes day and night while revolution causes change of seasons. So, we have discussed 5 points you can make a table and neatly enlist these point, points and learn them. We come to the exercises now and we begin with think and answer. Number A tick the right answer. The annual movement of the earth around the sun is called number B revolution. Number 2 the phenomenon of change of seasons is caused due to and the correct answer is revolution B again. Number 3 a leap year has the correct answer is 366 days number C. Question number 4 which of the following was not a leap year and the correct answer is number C 2010. Question number 5 on which of the following days the day and night are of equal duration throughout the world and the correct answer is A 21st March and 23rd September. 21st March is called spring or vernal equinox and 23rd September is known as autumn equinox. Question number 6. The Tropic of Capricorn receives the direct rays of the sun on 22nd December. Number B. This day is also known as winter solstice. And what happens on summer solstice? The Tropic of Cancer receives the direct rays of the sun. Simple. So, now we move to match the following. Number 1 motions of this earth and the correct answer is E rotation and revolution. Number 2 noon and we will match it with number C time of maximum heat. Number 3 February and this is matching with number D 28 or 29 days. Normal year has 28 days and during a leap year February has 29 days. Number 4 spring and the correct answer is season and last question equinoxes will match with equal day and night and we have two equinoxes spring equinox that is on 21st March and autumn equinox which is on 23rd September. So these are two equinoxes. Number C fill in the blanks choose words from the box. 1 the entire year is divided into 4 seasons and these seasons are spring, summer, autumn and winter. Number 2 the earth revolves along its orbit at a speed of 29.6 km per second and how does it rotate? It rotates along around its axis and the speed varies it is 1600 kilometer at the equator and it decreases as we go towards the poles. Number 3 the earth rotates from west to east. Number 4 the imaginary line axis of the earth is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half to the vertical plane. And the last question number 5 the year 2016 was a leap year. We come to the last exercise that is write true or false for these statements. Number 1 the equator experiences 6 months of daylight during summer. Now this is incorrect it is false because it is the poles which experience 6 months of daylight during summer. Number 2 on summer solstice the rays of the sun fall vertically on the tropic of cancer. This is true and this happens on 21st June. Number 3 February in a leap year has 29 days. This is again true. Direct rays of the sun fall on the equator on 21st March. 
this is also true and this day is called spring or vernal equinox the speed of the earth's revolution along its orbit is 29.6 km per second this statement is again true so most of the statements given here are true do your work very neatly in your book and do the assignments very neatly in your social studies notebook this time i have given you drawings for assignment draw rotation and revolution separately you can take help of the drawing given in the book or i have put a simpler drawing here which we had in the second slide uh, or third slide you can do that drawing too you may color your drawing using color pencils please do not use sketch pens or crayons please label the drawing mark the axis and the equator also mark using arrows the direction of rotation draw the orbit elliptical in shape don't make it round circle make it elliptical in shape and put the arrows showing the direction of revolution you will draw only one uh, one earth you need not draw four four we will be drawing if we are doing the drawing of change of seasons mark the sun in the center and keep earth tilted draw the axis and keep it tilted with this we come to the end of today's tutorial till we meet again taking learning about a new lesson keep smiling and keep safe